team heading into a matchup against North Dakota? Well, right now, I think we're playing pretty well, pretty good hockey. Uh, you know, obviously, the last three weekends, I think we've played well. Obviously, a couple of times we haven't gotten the results we wanted, but you know, we've played a lot, much smarter brand of hockey. I think we've, uh, we've done a good job defensively. Um, our penalty kill's been really good. Our power play's been a little bit inconsistent, but you know, I just think we're playing a more mature game right now. You know, I thought throughout the season there were times we've become immature and try to force issues and force plays, but I think over the last three weeks to a month, we've been uh, much more practical and a little bit more patient, which we're going to have to be, obviously, on Friday. Uh, the top line of Gersick, Jost, and Paganski has been pretty prolific this season on offense. Uh, what's been the defensive work to try to limit them? Well, we've faced a lot of good lines throughout the season. This is as good a line as we've seen. Um, you know, Obviously, when we face Northeastern, we face some high-end guys that you know, produced a lot of points. and. We did pretty well against them. So, what, you know, our defensive philosophy doesn't change no matter who we play. We've got to make sure we get there quickly. We've got our sticks down and our heads up. We're not fishing for pucks. We're ending plays. Our second defender is going to be huge. We've got to make sure our second defender gets into the play quickly so they don't have a lot of zone time. Um, but again, you know, we've we played in a great league. We've played a great schedule. So we've seen a lot of good players. And we're going to see a lot of good players on Friday afternoon. Will having that last change impact the game significantly for you? I think it helps a little bit, you know, but they've got a lot of good players, so it's going to be tough to match up on all their players. You guys have played on some really big stages this year, but there's a lot of hype going in this tournament. There's going to be a lot of noise in that arena. What are, are we staying focused? Well, one of the things we've talked about, and I can just feel it throughout the locker room, is, uh, I mean, if you're, a, if you're an elite athlete and you're an elite hockey player, this is a game you want to play in. I mean, before the seeds were announced and, you know, you're looking at the possibilities and the regionals, I mean, if I'm a player, I think it'd be pretty cool to go play North Dakota and Fargo in front of a packed house with that type of atmosphere. And you know, that's why you come to places like BU to play in games like this. And our guys are looking forward to the challenge. All the players we've talked to today have mentioned the crowd and that it'll be you know, a great place to play in front of. How important is it to get out to a fast start to try and you know, keep that crowd as low as possible? Well, contrary to what you've seen over the last nine games, we try to get out to a fast start. <laughs> um, you know, From a goal production standpoint, we haven't been successful over the last four or five weeks, but, you know, I, for instance, I thought we played really well in the first period against BC, and then we just weren't able to score a goal. Um, so obviously getting out to a good start and taking the crowd out of it is going gonna, is gonna to be, uh, you know, a goal of ours, but, hey, you might get down one nothing. That could happen. And, you know, we've done a good job shaking that off, and if we get down one nothing, we're going to have to shake it off again. It's a 60-minute hockey game, and, you know, we all want to play with the lead, but I'd rather play with the lead when that buzzer goes off after 60 minutes. North Dakota is kind of known for being a big team, you know, physical team. What do you have to do to kind of match up against that? Well, we've got to be physical on our own, but we can't be stupid about it. You know, I think the team that plays the most physical uh, and has discipline within their physicality is going to be the team that has a chance to be the most successful. And, you know, we want to be a physical team, too. I mean, 50-50 puck battles, you can't be fishing. You've got to make sure you're getting into people. And, you know, no matter who we're playing, that's what we try to do, shift in and shift out. And like I said, I think we've been doing a better job of that throughout the last three weeks to a month. And, uh, you know, in this stage of the game and this time of the year, uh, your physicality is going to allow you to have success. And, you know, we've got to be physical, but we've got to be smart about it. Cam Johnson, a Richter Award semifinalist last year. Uh, he had a sub two goals against average. He's shown what he can do on the big <coughs> stage. What's the work been done to get a net front presence oh, yeah. on Friday? Again, I mean, we do that no matter who yeah. we're playing. I mean, at this level, you can't create offense unless you have a net front presence. And, back to the Notre Dame series. I thought we did a great job of that. We did a better job of it against Northeastern. Um, again, I mean, if, if you're going to have success, uh, you got to have people at the net. And rarely are you beating guy on an initial shot. It's usually off a rebound or a tip, a screen, and we know that. And, you know, we're going to have to do that shift in and shift out. What does having a number one goalie like Jake Ottinger mean uh, going into this weekend? Well, obviously he's been a big part of our success this year, and obviously there's uh, been a lot of hype about him before he got here, and it was well deserved. And you know, uh, you're only going to go as far as your goaltending takes you. You can't you can't survive at this time of year without you know great goaltending. And we think we got a great goalie, and he's played on the big stage before. And I don't think he's going to be affected by the crowd or the environment. The game against BC is probably not a team's shining moment of the year. So are you going to make some line shifts, or are you not worried about it? Well, I know when you lose three to two and you know you get down to nothing, that might be you know what you what you think. But you know it's funny what you remember from a game, and you know people forget the first period because it happened three hours after the game ended. And you know I went back and watched the game, and I was stunned that we hadn't scored a goal or two 
uh, the way we played in the first period. We had some great chances, and we were ready to play. And you know, we didn't handle getting down one nothing well. I thought our second period got sloppy. That being said, we have a chance of five to four. And again, I know people may find that hard to believe, but and again, our, our pushback was too little, too late. Uh, but we've got to play 60 minutes, and you know, every team's striving to do that. We certainly are striving to do that. And, you know, there might be a line change here or there, but it won't be because of what happened against BC. Where, you know, maybe because we're just making a little bit of an adjustment. Do you think the desire and the frustration from that game will carry into this weekend? Well, if we need that game to create a high level of desire, uh, we're in trouble. And, uh, you know, playing in the national tournament, playing North Dakota and Fargo should give you all the desire you, that you want. And wanting to win a national championship should give you all the desire that you want. Does this North Dakota team have any similarities to other teams you might have faced throughout the season? Um, well, they may be a little bit like uh, Notre Dame, a uh, heavy team with some skill. Um, you know, we faced a lot of good teams this year, and they're just another really good team that we've played. I know it was a different coach and a different team, but can you draw any similarities between this year and when you guys played them in the Frozen Four? No, I just I just think that there's too much change from both ends. You know, the teams are completely different. You know. I'm a different coach. Some people say I'm a worse coach, but I'm a different coach. Uh, they've had a different coach, um, so I don't think there'll be much similarity between this game and the last.